right, so welcome to my official gaming channel. I have a vlog channel. If y'all want to check the vlog channel out, it's here somewhere. But this is a whole separate channel with a whole separate vibe. Well, it's me, so the vibe's always going to be me. But like, you know, it's games, game-based things. Um, Finally, I'm getting my first video on here. I wanted to, before I hop into all the games and stuff, I wanted to do a setup build. And of course, as I upgrade, give updates on it. But it's like, I figured... It'd be nice to let y'all know what I'm on before I start playing it. So um, I did take some footage. I guess I'll insert that after this right here. I'll insert it right here and it'll explain um, like or not explain, but it'll show everything like what it looks like. And then after the video plays, we'll come back and I'll explain individually what my setup is. So let's do that real quick. OK, so this is my whole setup. Um, I'll go into a little more details in a bit, but if you couldn't tell, it is in the living room because I don't, I can't put this in our room, especially when I play at night because, you know, my husband's in there and I can't put it in the baby's room because why would I do that? So it's out here. Um, weird little setup, if I do say so myself. It's like here and then our TV's here and our bookshelf. This is the baby stuff. It's not always out. But our TV will be here, and then you got this whole space where the couch will be. But we don't, it's just the two of us, or the three of us. I'm not pressed on getting a big, giant couch in the living room. But anyways, the video's not about my living room, it's about my setup. So, yeah. Everything except for, of course, my consoles, and then this big monitor, and then my headphones. But everything else, legit, came from Amazon. I ordered everything on Amazon. Um, so let's start with the chair. I'm not going to lie. This chair is, well, now it's growing on me, but I'm not the biggest fan of this chair. Um, it's not the best quality chair. And when I first used it, it hurt sitting on, but now I honestly don't think it's that bad to sit on it. It's, it's not that bad. But back here, the, the cords back here are crazy. But um, the desk, I did get it from Amazon. I'll put pictures of everything that I got, and then I'll put it in the description too. But I got that from Amazon. I just bought my lights. That's the remote to it. I have an LED light in the background. Makes the setup look nice when I'm on camera. My PlayStation's back here. My um, Switch is back here. And I could put a second HDMI cord and switch it because I do have a capture card. But I don't want to just keep unplugging there so i just unplugged this so if i want to play my switch i'll unplug the capture card and put in my switch it's not a big deal to me i don't mind doing it but those are my consoles on the side it came with a pocket it's very hard to see but i got headphones for when i want to do voice chat on my playstation because i don't have a what is it like a voice cam link or whatever it's called i don't have one i don't really care to get one because i'm not i don't really play with anyone on playstation most people I play with are on PC, and if I do talk to them, I do it through Discord and stuff. But my controller's in there too. That's all that. So I'm gonna sit here and move this out of the way. So this is my um, monitor, my first monitor. I'm not gonna lie, don't know what its dimensions are. I do know this one is a 22 inch, so. It's obviously bigger than a 22 inch. I'm not sure what it is. My little brother bought it when he came out, uh, when we used to live in California. Uh, he came out to see us and he bought it just to play as an extra monitor. And he flew back home, so of course he couldn't bring it with him. So he left it and I kept it. So that's the monitor. I have a ring light. This is a smaller one. All of it plugs into USB. Like I said, second monitor. It's just usually where chat and stuff is. I got this keyboard and mouse combo. It is wired. Uh, I'm not a professional gamer, so I'm not going to lie. I don't really care if it is or isn't wireless right now. Maybe in the future I'll care, but right now, I mean, it comes all the way out here, and there's no situation when I'm... Well, it can go further, but everything's down there, but it comes out this far, and everything looks pretty fine, so it's like here. I don't, it moves fine to me. I don't, I'm not good at games enough to notice or care, so I guess it doesn't matter. I can always upgrade. Keyboard, I don't, some people don't like it. They got certain kinds of keyboards that make certain kinds of sounds, I've found out. Uh, again, I don't care because I'm not, like, I'm new to this. 
like I said, this is my capture card. I'll put it all the links and stuff, but this is my capture card. It's really good, actually. If you guys check my streams out, that's what I use, and you got good quality. Um, this camera, or um, not camera, but this um, ring light comes with a switch, so I can adjust all the settings right here. Then I also have a bigger ring light, which I also intend to use for my vlogs. It's like a bigger one with a phone stand on it, too, to make everything look nice. That's cool. I got a microphone. This is like Fi Fine something. Uh, like I said, everything I'll link it. Um, it's screwed on here. It's got an arm, got a filter. You can move it out, push it in, push it back, and all that fun stuff. Then under all my cables, I tried to cable manage what I could. Some of the cords are just longer. Here it does look crazy but it's just like there's nowhere I can put these this cord goes to my this cord goes to my um microphone so it has to be loose so I can move my microphone then everything else is just the HDMI's that plug into the motherboard on the back and it's like there's no real way for me to hide it and of course I do have chargers for my phone and the actual PC it is on the floor I haven't noticed any problems I play like the games that I play whatever I have on there right now is what I have on there right now, and it works perfectly fine. Like, there's no problems. I I check the temperatures; it doesn't overheat or anything. So, I'm okay with it. And then, the actual PC itself ain't much going on in there. It's a micro uh, ATX motherboard, so ain't nothing crazy going on. But you see, the fans are moving. I'm trying to be quiet. You might hear my family in the background. No sounds. I put camera up to it like it doesn't make any sounds so everything's been working perfectly fine you know cpu cooler last thing i got are the antennas it's for the wi-fi uh, i don't know i don't even know if i really needed those but i heard the motherboard can take a wi-fi card and so i was like okay well let me just get one and i put one on maybe it does increase the speed i don't know we already have decently fast internet but that we stand up one more time. But yeah, that's the whole setup. This is what it looks like when I be gaming. And okay, so now we're back. Y'all seen how it physically looks, like, you know, from what I'm looking at right now. And I do have notes right here. So if you see me look on the side, it's because I'm not a super big brain on what parts I have. I wrote them down so that I wasn't just fumbling the bag on what I have. And I'll put pictures of the screenshots from Amazon like I said in the other video that you just watched before this everything besides the big monitor which I'm looking at or which this one is because I have a second one over here this monitor of course my consoles and then my headphones that I used everything I bought from Amazon everything's been working perfectly fine but all right let's start with our motherboard for the motherboard I have a ASRock B650M it's a micro ATX I believe um, so it's not a full size motherboard, it's a smaller one. It only has two RAM slots. I'm sure there's other things that are different about it. This is my first PC build, so I don't know all the things. But I do know it's micro, it's got a little less spots for things, but I don't care because I don't I have a, it works perfectly fine. It does everything I needed to do. That's it. I don't I'm not complaining, I don't need more space or nothing. So I have that motherboard. For my CPU, I have the Ryzen 5 7600X. I do know that there's the Ryzen 5 7600 and the X is more expensive, and the 600 comes with a CPU cooler, and the X doesn't, but at the time, I didn't mind spending the extra $10, and it's just like, I'm not waiting, it was out of stock, and I at that point, I'm just like, I'm not waiting, I want it to build my setup right then and there, so uh, I built my setup right then and there. Next, we have the Thermalite Assassin, that's the cooler that I have, it's this bigger one, you clip on the wires it's uh, it's a weird little setup i don't it's it's an interesting little setup so you know i don't know it was weird to put together if i have the footage i'll put some clips in of me trying to build it like physically build it before i had any of this setup um but that's the cooler i have it's working fine everything is working fine um for ram i have the g skill it's a g skill brand flare x5 yeah g skill flare uh, x5 yeah, I don't, I'm not technical, so I couldn't tell you if it's like, oh, it's working amazing. It does exactly what it does. I mean, it's working. My PC's been working. Everything on it is fine. I don't really have problems. Sometimes I'll 
I feel like it'll like glitch a little bit, but it fixes itself or I'll just change my settings for my FPS. I don't guys, I don't game like that yet. So I can't really be saying things like I'm like, oh, I'm so mad. My FPS are so bad. I don't know. And I don't really care. Everything looks fine from my perspective. And when I watch my streams back or whatever, everything looks fine then. So I say it's fine to me. Next for the SSD, I have a crucial P3 plus. Um, it's a one terabyte SSD. Uh, so like I said, it's fine for me. I, I get, I feel like some people when I've done my research get less storage. So for this being my first build and having one terabyte of storage, I feel like is I won't be running out of storage no time soon. I also just don't like to um, keep unnecessary things on my computer or my phone or anything. If I'm not using it, I don't want it. So all my YouTube videos and whatnot, I'll delete them off my computer. And if I really care about them, I'll back them up. Otherwise they're on my channel, which is on the internet. So the video is always going to be there unless I choose to take it down. So it's always going to be online. So I don't feel like I need to hoard it on my SSD when it's already going to be online. Um, of course, maybe that will change because, you know, I don't know, maybe something will change and I want to keep every single video I've ever made right now. I don't care about it. So I don't, I don't see myself using up the full terabyte worth of um, space on my SSD. So next for my GPU, I have the ASRock RX 6750. I think it's like XT, something like that. Like I said, it'll be here. I'll put the pictures up and whatnot of it. Um, again, I'm not no mastermind at computer parts. It's a GPU. It runs my games perfectly fine. My games look mad crispy. Like I said, maybe here and there it'll have a hiccup or two, but I feel like it's because the settings that I put on here are the highest settings possible. I think I did watch a video and it told me how to overclock my computer, but I feel like I don't like that. Well, I guess it still does over, but I don't know. I change it so that it's not purposefully trying to push itself to the maximum. Uh, because like I said, I'm not one that cares that much about how it looks. When I play it, it looks perfectly fine to me. It's crispy, it's quality better than it looks on my TV when I'm just playing my PS5 shit on my TV. So I don't complain about it. It's not a problem with me and my games run smoothly. The GPU is quiet. It does what it does. You know, it does its job. I, I know this is not, I'm sitting here talking. I realize. well, to be fair though, this video wasn't labeled as a, what parts to get. I'm just naming my setup and my setup works fine for me. So my setup works fine for me. I don't feel the need to like, go into details and be like, don't buy this because this part is that and that part, it works fine for me. Um, next for my PSU, I have the, what is this? The EVGA 800 GE, 800 Watts. Again, it's a power supply. Maybe I overkill, you know, some people said I'm getting too much power. Others said not enough. Don't know, but I feel like I'd rather have more power and not fry my system than have too little power. So I want 800 Watts. Again, I check the temperatures and everything. Everything runs fine. I've looked it up multiple times to make sure that nothing was too hot or I, I can't imagine something gets too cold, but if it was too cold, I would have known, but everything is perfect temperatures and what it's supposed to be at. PC is pulling the power it needs to, nothing sparks, no power uh, around the rest of the house is lost or anything. So it works perfectly fine in my eyes. And for the case, we have the NZXT H5 Flow. Um, we honestly, it's a great case. First of all, let me not say it's not a good case. It is a good case, but them screws, the screws on the case are mad tight sometimes. So that was really a pain building it. Um, it's not, I fixed it. Clearly I did it. So it's not that big of a deal, but it was annoying as heck trying to get that fixed and situated, like get the screws off with what I had. I didn't want to buy like a whole big giant screwdriver set to do all of it just to send it back because I don't use the screws for nothing. I did buy like a mini screwdriver kit thing and that worked fine. But like, I don't know, the screws were weird. The screws were really on there tight and it was bugging me. But for my Wi-Fi card, like I said in the other video, I don't, I didn't know if I needed a Wi-Fi card. I know you can plug your um, ethernet cable from your Wi-Fi router to your computer. And I could have did that, but I'm just like, why have more wires going places when I can just have the antennas? So I bought them, works fine. Upload download speed seem to be fine to me. It takes 20 minutes to download a game like uh, Rainbow Six. Like I can download Rainbow Six, it's 20 minutes. I don't know if that's a big file or not. I know things like Call of Duty be like jumbo files. I don't play games like that. Maybe GTA 6 will test my computer because uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a huge file. So I'll let y'all know about that. 
for my camera it's called the e meet something i don't know like i said it's up here somewhere it i don't know like i'm looking now you know the camera's here obviously looking at you but i'm looking at myself on my obs and i it can be a little bit pixely like clearly it's not no hd camera but i got it just to have face cam when i do my streams i didn't really get it for like sitting and doing one-on-one -on -one videos that's what my phone's for i'd much rather like record my face with my phone uh this is just for stream when i'm streaming just so it's there because you know you gotta have a face cam when you stream these days i didn't go for quality because when i'm streaming i figure most people are looking at my game anyways my game looks all right so that's all i care about the mouse and keyboard it's called the mag mage mag e can't say it don't know mag e mag e it's rgb um not gonna lie i'm personally not a fan of rgb i don't feel the need to have a bunch of rgb lights everywhere because to me it's like if i have this led my keyboard my mouse my pc led strips it's just too much lights going on maybe it's because i have sensitivity to flashing lights so maybe that's why i don't like it but i don't need i don't feel the need to have all that but this keyboard and mouse is rgb i clicked it i clicked a bunch of the buttons in the little clip of video that i uh you know put in here so you hear how it sounds the clicking's fine has side mouse buttons everything's fine for me i type fine i play my games fine again feels fine to me i'm not going to complain about it next is the microphone like i said in the video it's got a five fine studio condenser i do think it sounds nice i think i just have a problem with trying to stay and speak into the microphone i don't know i move i'm a very like expressive person or you see me i'm like rocking in my chair so you know sometimes it might not sound as crispy as possible but i think i got it to sound decent enough for a 50 dollar mic i'm pretty sure this mic was like 50 bucks so for a 50 dollar mic i feel like it's not that bad and that came with the arm and the filter and there's another filter in there too so i i say it's a pretty decent mic personally then we have my capture card like i said I some off-brand capture card, but I have one. It's for my PlayStation 5, my Switch, uh, to stream onto my, or to display the capture onto my PC. I wanted that because I feel like that, there's like another one. I'll link them. I'll, I'll put pictures of all of them right here. But there's one, it's like a little one. And it's just like one hole on one side and one hole on the other side. And it just was, that one was a little too cheap and a little too weird for me. And I didn't trust it, so I didn't get it. Then the next one was this one that I have now, which I feel more comfortable having. And then the more expensive one was the Elgato one. Every video I watched, they're like, get the Elgato, get the Elgato. And I just feel like, sure, I guess because it's a reliable and it works, sure. But it's like, I only wanted to spend like a thousand, like 2000 maximum on my setup. And so I wasn't going to, I cut, I don't know, I'll, the math will be somewhere, but I saved money buying this one and it does exactly what an Elgato does. So i'm happy with it and then yeah the last thing i bought was my monitor this is like a phillips 222 yeah phillips 22 inch monitor i got that and um yeah that's that's it that's my setup i'm pretty sure that's everything i explained i do have lights like i said i have an rgb light i'll show the picture here about what it is and i do have one um smaller ring light that's coming this way and i have this bigger ring light coming this way i'm not I'm not good with lighting, but I feel like it looks way better. I don't know if y'all have seen my live streams, but in my live streams in the daytime, like it'll be the middle of the day and I'll look dark as heck. So I got the lights. So it looks a little brighter. It looks a little better, but I feel like that's it. That's the whole setup. There's nothing else special. The table, the chair, there's the table and chair pictures right here. It's cheap little things off of Amazon. I'm sure I'll upgrade them eventually, but for now it does what I need to do. So I'm keeping it. And so, yeah, I feel like that's it. That's my whole setup. That's what I'm working with. So hopefully now I can start making or not making because I'm going to make them, but I can start posting um, videos of games. So let me know what games y'all would like to see. First of all, I think I'm going to do some Minecraft maps that are exclusive to, to the channel. Not that I'm I don't want to be the kind of channel that just takes clips from their stream and repost them on YouTube and call it their gaming channel. I'd like it to be completely separate things from what i do on stream so i'm thinking of doing a minecraft let's play of some sort i was thinking about trying to do gtrp and putting that stuff here not sure how well that's gonna work but i do want to try it and then um there was something else i wanted to try actually i did was thinking of stuff like life is strange i just feel like i gotta since i'm starting off i feel like it's cool to revisit games that are pretty popular or that were pretty popular 
and then have them on my channel just so you know it's like oh well something like like part yeah like something like minecraft like everyone's tried minecraft at some point you know so it doesn't have to be my main focus but it's like something that can be on the channel so that i have a you know a little repertoire of what i've played um so yeah so that's what i'm doing i do have a vlog channel too i'm gonna be doing vlogs there i do live stream live stream is here actually we'll put it here live stream is here in this space um twitch.tv slash dmacintock go check me out i stream thursday through saturday nope thursday through sunday from 12 i start at 12 typically i try to end at two i may stream longer may stream less uh, i got the baby with me so i can't make any promises but i do stream on there so go check me out right now this video is going to end go check that video out now i'll see you guys hopefully in my live streams